Hey everybody, this is Sonia Swan coming to you live from my back porch. <laughs> and hey, I just wanted to talk to you about a, three pieces that sometimes we get questions about when someone is beginning to build the business or maybe they've been building for a little while. And so if you're not actually intentionally sharing Young Living, you're just on this page to enjoy Young Living's products, then this video probably isn't for you. But if you are someone who is really uh, enjoying and enjoying intentionally sharing with others, these are probably pieces that if you don't run into today, you might run into at some point or another. So we wanted to be sure to take the time to talk about these. And we used to get to chance to talk to people about these all of the time because we all hung out together. We were a fairly small group and we all kind of talked together and we all had the same values. And now that we've grown, it's a little bit harder to communicate this all down throughout all of the ranks um, and it, as big as we have grown. So hopefully this video will help it, with that in just addressing these few areas and how to handle them. So the first one comes up in, I'm sure, in any network marketing company, which is when you're sharing and you're excited about your product, sometimes you run across somebody who they've already been exposed to Young Living Oils um, to a greater extent or a lesser extent. Um, sometimes somebody's already been working with them and giving them samples and that type of thing. And we really like to encourage in our group and hopefully all around Young Living that if somebody has already been sharing with them, that we refer that person back to the original person that shared with them. If they say, yeah, oh, I'd love to come to one of your classes, we say, great. And if they say, well, my friend Kathy or my cousin Kathy's already been sharing with me, we don't say, okay, great, well, I'm still going to sign you up. We say, great, why don't you call Kathy and get Kathy's number and we'll help you get enrolled with Kathy. And there are rare occasions when somebody just doesn't want to enroll with the person who has been sharing with them. So it is always the person's prerogative to sign up with whomever they want. And we do try to refer those people back to the original people who in, began sharing with them and investing in them. And this all does come back to us in time. So sometimes we're like farmers. Sometimes we're the ones planting the seed. Sometimes we're the one watering. And sometimes we're the ones reaping the harvest. And sometimes we get to harvest for somebody else. So some many times in our organization, we have people come to our classes that are part of another group. I had a I had a chiropractor once when I was at a trade show who absolutely wanted to sign up that day, but his sister was in Young Living in Los Angeles. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sign you up. And he said, well, why not? And I said, because I don't want to have anything come between you and your sister relationship-wise. And this is network marketing. She's going to benefit from you enrolling. And I'm not going to be the person that destroys that relationship. It's really important that you go back to your sister as she's the one that's been sharing with you already. So sometimes people even fight you on going back to the person that originally shared with them. But many people just don't understand that, that other people will benefit for life off of that person. And the people that are enrolling that are just signing up, they don't understand. They just think, well, hey, we're all just wholesale members like a Costco or Sam's Club, so it doesn't really matter who I enroll with. So this is a real important part of the culture that we have built is to make sure that we refer people back to the person who, who originally began sharing with them. And we can follow up and all of that kind of stuff. There may be a rare occasion where it happens that they, you know, want to enroll with you over somebody else only because they really maybe don't like that person. And that certainly is their prerogative. But we never try to pull somebody over to ourselves like, oh, but I can offer you so much more. And, oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, we don't do that. We don't do that kind of bribery or pulling people into our group um, for many, many reasons. But it's just the law of sowing and reaping, right? We reap what we sow. We sow out generosity and love and gratitude and kindness, and we get that back. And if we sow out greediness and um, uh, it, un, being inconsiderate, uh, then we're going to get that back too. So that's the first piece. 
and we'll do another piece in another video. We're going to actually do three of these videos. They're each going to address a different thing that sometimes we run into. So this is just the first one that we wanted to address and we want to keep them short. So we'll do the other two in another couple of videos. We'll talk to you soon.